Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Stars. So this is just a discussion of what I have read comments everywhere about both of these banners. Uh, most are not pulling for them. Um, I, I really understand that you guys are preparing for the anniversary event, which is happening probably a month from now or less even. So um, really understand what is the reason why I'm not pulling for these banners. And also the other reason is how risky um, their kits are because of the sanity system. Um, but, but, but I will, you know, tell you guys right now, the upside of using them is big versus the downside in terms of risk. Okay, I already was able to play test Lenore. I'm going to showcase her in a different um, video on how to use her. What is her damage? How big is it? Um, and all those things. Also, Giles or Giles, I'm going to showcase everything here. And also, I'm going to be showcasing bringing them both in a team. So, i um, going to go over the sanity system for those who, you know, for those who do not or are not familiar with the sanity system so max sanity is a 100 so when either of them or both um uh, giles or giles or oh, sorry giles and lenore are in a team either both or either one of them um there is a sanity system so when the sanity is zero one percent of the team's hp will be substituted by a sanity point so at 100 they're calm they're you know they are still sane <laughs> okay uh when somebody pisses them off at 99 to 80 ally units receive one stack of poison at the start of each round okay so hear me out team defense drops by drops by 10 percent not drops to 10 percent okay it drops it um, um your total drops by 10 percent so less 10 percent not not the 10 percent so that's now how it is <clears throat> okay so at 79 to 50 if somebody pisses them off more all enemy units are subject to the above so this is the only plus side to the sanity system because all enemies do get the stack of poison and their defense also drops by 10 percent Okay, so that is the upside. Uh, 49 to 20, a Mirage appears randomly at the start of each round. Mostly the Mirage is usually just a nuisance. Small damages, um, not really big damage to you. Um, they can be ignored, but not ignored for long. At 19 to 1, when they're so pissed off that they want to punch you already, ally units gain 4 more stacks of poison at the start of each round. Uh, healing effects reduced to 20%. But this is where it gets uh, it gets really, really, really iffy. And um, you should have, uh, you know, you should have a counter to this one. So we'll discuss that further. I'm not, I'm not going to, to discuss it here. I'm just going to discuss why I summoned for them. At zero, insane state when they go crazy, all Aurorian defense is reduced to 10%. So this is where it goes to only 10 percent okay so this is the sanity system the risk involved in using this with them for me is about if if you want to weigh you know 10 10 percent this is roughly around um i'm gonna be generous with my estimate a 70 to 80 percent risk okay no, 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 not, not the other way. It's a 30 to 40. Sorry, it's a 20 to 30 percent risk. So because it is um, it is more or less also balanced by the reward. So the risk is small at between 20 to 30 percent because the rewards are also good. Again, the kit, I won't be explaining their kit. I'll be explaining them in my analysis for each of them and my showcase for each of them. But that is just my opinion. So you might have a different opinion. Please put them down in the comment section below. If you think that 20 to 30 is small, what do you think is the risk 
that you're taking by you know by taking them because again i have re i really I already have a team in mind on how to construct them it's just that they have to be um more or less at ascension 3 and also at level 80 to test out okay so this is the sanity system the um, just want to show you guys um giles or giles um because i already announced this that i got him uh i didn't put out a summon video for him because i got him in 10 single pulls not one 10 pull 10 single pulls him being the last 10 pull so this is just by luck that i really really you know um high on luck during the time that i got him and um, not really, not really disappointed why I got him. It was at the back of my mind the first time I got Lenore. I told myself, what if I pair the both of them? I need Giles in that team. Um, I'm really excited for that one. That is why I summoned for Giles as well. Okay, so I really like the challenge of building around the both of them. Um, it's really it's uh it give it it takes me back to the days where i was playing magic the gathering and i had to play with um with weird cards that uh, that doesn't seem to fit but eventually if somebody makes a deck out of them they would be very popular so i'm i'm building on that premise wherein i think they are um hidden gems that that we don't realize it yet now, but eventually we will. Um, so um, that is why I'm really, really pushing for them. Also, I'd like to challenge the meta. If right now the meta is really established already after nearly a year, I'd like to challenge the meta with the both of them, with using the both of them. Okay, and also I'd like to share the prototypes with you guys as well. So if I've had a team, um, made them work, I'd like to share it with you and probably you could appreciate it as well and use it. Okay, so I mentioned already that there's potential in bringing both of them in one team. So more or less, they're going to be ridiculous based on what i'm seeing from both of their kits um you can use them both in one team um they're gonna use the same sanity system and um to mac to really enhance their potential you should you know lower down their sanity to zero more or less okay so also they're playable at one copy like for example for lenore you don't need a preemptive strike both of them are preemptive strike for lenore um her active skill is a cooldown of one for for giles it's going to be zero so again a lot of firepower there i tell you it's just that you just have to build a team around them not just put somebody or someone you know just because you want to put a team around them okay my view of lenore is um she can rival Yao and Arya for damage. I've seen the damage that level 56 Arya can do versus my sorry, level 56 Lenore can do versus Arya. And it's going to be, you know, nearly there. Nearly nearly there. I'll, you know, I'll showcase that in a different video so that we could really talk about Lenore on really how to maximize her. So again. Potential is also big for Lenore. Uh, again, she can rival Yao and Arya. Um, I just want to show you guys my Arya. She's already maxed out. So equipment is maxed out here. And uh, Breakthrough is also maxed out. So I've seen the result of the damage output. And I think it's promising for Lenore. For Mr. Giles or Giles... Where is he? For this guy, I think he's the best sniper around for fire. Uh, fire badly needed a sniper and we got him and he's bonkers. Both of them are not, I'm, I'm not saying both of them are OP. They are very good, not OP. But at this point, um, 
they are going to be either good or very good. So, um, Giles or Giles is actually better, you know, has has more potential um, than Lenore uh, in terms of building either one of them or both of them. So, if you're asking me who you want to prioritize, if you're still thinking of, um, you know, pulling for both of them, I think Giles is going to be the way to go when if you really are choosing between Giles and Lenore. Okay, so for those of you guys who have pulled from either either of them, I think you made the right decision. Um at this at right now, right now. Um moving forward, hopefully they add to the sanity uh, mechanic and add more Aurorians to this. This is I enjoy, you know, working you know building a team around them and go or going to build a team around them so again for those who you know have comments put them down in the comment section below whether you'd agree with me or disagree with me in terms of how you know how big of a potential they are and how how you know how they will change probably some of the meta who knows so put it down in the comment section below. Agree or disagree? Honestly, I'm not worried about the anniversary. So if there are an event, there's an event and then a new unit. Very good. I'll cross the bridge when I get there. At this point, I'm not really worried. Um, cross the bridge. Then we'll see what happens during the anniversary. I I don't wanna regret do you know. Because when you're there in the anniversary already, you might regret not pulling for this. Otherwise, for this one, um, when you're at the anniversary, when you pulled already, uh, you can still remedy the anniversary. Obviously, if you want to pull for, you know, for a unit there, you have to spend if you don't have any savings like me. My Lumember is 434 and... <laughs> I am really suffering from, you know, from all of the pulls, but I am happy that I pulled for the both of them. Okay, so that is it. Again, guys, um, um, let's discuss. Put them down, all your comments, all your questions. Let's do this. And uh, for those who are here, please do consider subscribing to my channel because this helps me a lot. And always, for those who have supported me, thank you very much. I'm at 4,100. For those who are, you know, for those who are playing Alchemy Stars, um, I know I'm new to this game, but I will give you a different perspective aside from the meta. That is what I'll give you from my channel. So thank you very much, guys. Take, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.